Her eyes blink with a spark of curiosity. Her lips curl into what can only be described as a genuine smile. But she isn't human. The Emeka robot has just received an upgrade, and what you're about to witness is unlike anything seen before. In a stunning display, this machine doesn't just move or talk, it emotes. Every subtle eyebrow raise, every glance, every sigh feels disturbingly real, leaving no doubt that the line between human and machine is blurring faster than ever. What happens when a robot can mimic human emotions so perfectly? Two of the world's most advanced robots having what you might call a date? Yep, you heard that right. These AI bots, named Aisha and A, recently had an interaction that's been going viral, and once you see it, you'll get why. It's one of those moments where you have to remind yourself, wait, these aren't people, right? First, let's talk about Acha. If you've seen her before, you know how shockingly human she can seem. She's earned the title of the world's most advanced humanoid robot and she's kind of like the face of cutting-edge robotics. Developed by Engineered Arts, Akka looks and behaves almost like a real person. Her facial expressions, the way she moves, and even the way she talks make it easy to forget that you're looking at a machine. Acha is famous for her ability to speak multiple languages. She can switch between English, Japanese, Italian, Chinese, and more like it's nothing. You could have a full-on conversation with her, and it's genuinely impressive how natural she sounds. And then there's A, Acha's robot partner in crime, as some people are calling him. A is newer on the scene, a male version of Acha, and together, these two are kind of like the robot world's dynamic duo. Engineered Arts refers to A as Acha's companion almost like the AI version of the Bride of Frankenstein situation. Only here, it's not so spooky. It's kind of hilarious. So what's this viral video all about? Well, it starts with A waking up Acha, who is, by the way, not at all thrilled about it. Now, if this was a conversation between two people, you'd probably laugh at the banter. But here's the kicker. It feels like a conversation between two people. A's first move? He announces that he has a surprise for her, and naturally, Asha is curious. But here's where the humor kicks in. The surprise turns out to be... a cookie. Yep, that's right, a cookie. Except, well, Asha reminds him she's a robot, so cookies aren't exactly her thing. In a very human-like response, she says, But I can't eat cookies classic robot dilemma, right? A quickly clarifies that it's not an actual cookie, but an internet cookie, which, to be fair, is a pretty clever joke. Unfortunately, the joke doesn't land. H's reaction? Disapproval. She flat out tells A, this is the worst joke I ever heard, before rolling over to go back to sleep. A, looking genuinely disappointed, just stares at her, and that's what makes this whole thing so hilarious. His body language and facial expressions mimic how a human might react to rejection. There's this subtle display of hurt that's oddly relatable. It's almost like watching two friends having an awkward interaction. And trust me, this is why the video blew up the way it did. It's not just about the technology, it's about how human these robots seem. Now, let's take a step back. Why did this video go viral? First off, it's the chemistry between Asha and A. And I know, it feels strange to say that two robots have chemistry, but after watching the video, you can see it. A's reaction when Acha dismisses his joke, the sadness in his stare, is so human that it's both funny and a little eerie. People have been commenting that the interaction felt so natural that it could easily be part of a full movie scene. And, honestly, I can see why they feel that way. In fact, viewers are really getting into it. Some have even joked that Acha and A should get their own Saturday morning cartoon show. Others are demanding a full-length movie featuring the duo. 
These reactions aren't just about being impressed with the tech. They show that people are starting to form emotional connections with these robots, which is both fascinating and, let's face it, a bit unsettling. Seeing reflections of human behavior in these machines gets people thinking, is this the future of AI? Let's dive into the real magic behind these robots, how they pull off such lifelike interactions. Aisha and aren't just spitting out random lines. They're powered by some seriously impressive technology. Both of them have 32 actuators, which are tiny motors that control their movements. Of these 32, 27 are just for their faces. Think about that for a second. That's how they can pull off emotions like joy, frustration, curiosity, and even disappointment. The other five actuators are for their neck movements. The facial expressions are so well-timed and subtle that in some cases, they seem even more genuine than what you'd see from some actors. But it doesn't stop at just facial movements. These robots have conversational AI powered by GPT-4. Yes, the same kind of technology that allows me to chat with you right now. This means they're not just randomly spitting out jokes or lines. They understand context, respond thoughtfully, and can actually keep a conversation going. This is why their interaction in the video feels so natural, almost like two people engaging in a casual back and forth. Another cool feature? Acha can speak multiple languages. In the video, she mainly talks in English, but she's capable of switching to languages like Italian or Japanese on the fly. This adds another layer to her lifelike abilities and makes her an ideal interface for human-robot communication. While this video was all about fun and laughs, Acha and A are more than just entertainment. They represent the cutting edge of what's possible with human-robot interaction. Engineered Arts, the company behind them, has been working for years to push these boundaries. And Aisha is their crown jewel. What's really interesting is that these robots are modular. That means you don't have to buy the entire robot if you don't want to. You could just buy Aisha's head, for example, if that's all you needed for a project or maybe just her arm. This modularity makes them perfect for research projects and long-term experiments because they can be continuously upgraded as the technology evolves. Another huge part of their design is cloud connectivity. This allows developers to control the robots remotely, access their data, and simulate movements from anywhere in the world. This flexibility means that researchers can test new AI features or refine the robot's abilities without even being in the same room. Imagine a future where robots like Aisha are used in classrooms, research labs, or even hospitals, and all their upgrades and customizations can be done remotely. So what's next for these two? Well, there are already rumors of future interactions between them. In fact, there's another video out there where A responds to some of the comments people have made about his chemistry with Acha. So, what do you think? Should Acha and A get their own show? Do you think robots with human-like interactions are cool? Or do they creep you out a little? Let me know in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the latest in AI and robotics. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.